Hello folks, Jason Cressman here of JC's Bees. Today I wanted to take a couple minutes of your time and make a video on a new product I just received in the mail called the Broodminder. Uh, here in a couple minutes we're going to go ahead and package the Broodminder. I'm going to kind of give you a rundown on how it works, um, what's included in the kit, how it comes when you order it, and uh, in another video I'll go ahead and do an install. But from here let's move on into the deck and uh, we'll start in packaging it and uh, from there the videos will just keep progressing using this device. Let's move on in on the deck and we'll unpackage and uh, see what all we got in the, in the box. Okay, so this product is called the Broodminder. Included in the kit, this is how it came in the mail. I have opened it up but I repackaged it so I could make this video. Okay, this is how your kit is going to be packaged. And it contains two thermometers. Um, this one here is just a thermometer. This one's a thermometer and a humidity gauge. It also comes with instructions, a few stickers, probably labels I guess and then you slide this band off and this here I've already got it set up is a scale for your hive. Now the way it works when you get it you pop this little cover off down here's your little battery tool and you simply push the battery down in when you get it. It's just sitting on top of here. And then you replace all of this stuff. Like so, over the pins. And then you set this back on here, right over the pins. You put this back on to protect it from the weather. And I actually inspected this because I used to do a lot of roofing. Um, familiar how things should be layered to keep the weather out. And these folds have actually made a nice seam to keep the moisture out. So they recommend you put this back on and then you slide this band back around the base. Now it's a little awkward to do in the position I'm standing in in front of the camera. So I apologize. I'm off screen a little bit there. And that holds it all together. It's very, very simple to install. Before you get started, you're going to need a 2x4 approximately 17 inches long. This 2x4 goes under the rear of the beehive. And then you slide your high scale device under the front portion of the hive. Here you can see it just under the entrance of the hive. Just above that, between your two deep boxes, is going to go your temperature only device. Above that, between the deep and the medium, as you see here, is going to be your temperature humidity device. Now, if you're not three boxes tall going into winter, you would put it between the top box and the inner lid. And they work through a downloadable app to your Bluetooth. Or wireless device. Now what I find really neat about that is is at any time of the day as long with as long as I'm within range and I'm not exactly sure what the range is I need to look I'll leave a note here at the bottom you can pull out your phone and check the temperature you can check the temperature and the humidity this one here is just temperature and then also I'll have my scale which also has a, a thermometer and a humidity gauge to give you the outside temperature and humidity. That way you've got something to, to uh, measure between from inside to outside to see the range of what the difference is there. So I'm pretty excited about using the product. 
I think this is going to tell me a lot about torpor. Um, I find it really interesting that there's so much technology coming into beekeeping. Um, uh, I think it's going to be neat to be able to measure the weight of a hive to see how things change as the temperatures increase, how much uh, food stores are they eating. Um, there's a lot of different things you could monitor and use this tool to your advantage. This is what you would get in the CS kit. You would get the scale and you get the temperature thermometer and the temperature humidity gauge. There's a smaller package, I believe, that comes with just the scale and one of these. So I think my plans of using this to get some new readings for torpor will tell us a lot. And uh, I'm very uh, intrigued to get it started and uh, see what we can find out. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this video has intrigued you to learn a little bit more about the Broodminder and how it works. Um, I see a lot of great possibilities with this Broodminder. Um, my first interest, since it's winter, um, didn't feel like it today, it's almost 60, but um, I'd like to do some more testing on torpor. And if you're not aware, torpor is a form of hibernation that bees enter in the winter. Uh, a lot of beekeepers have the habit of knocking on the hive, and, and uh, I hope to shine some more light on that. Um, some other interesting ideas I would like to experiment with the Broodminder is honey flows. I will be able to monitor how much weight my hive gains in a day's period, clear down to the nearest hour. So that, I find that very interesting. So lots of neat things going on here at uh, JC's Bees. Uh, stay tuned. Please take time to subscribe down to the bottom. And uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. It'd be appreciated. Thanks again.